We are ready for the Tingle Creek. Here we go. Here's Alan House. Tingle Creek chase of 2023. Racing down to the first of their 13 fences. It's Haddox de Zobo and Jack Tudor who lead the way. From the short price favourite, John Bond. He jumps over in second place. Then New Bay Negra, the white jacket, over toward the far side, Edward Stone, as on they go towards the open ditch. Fence number two. Alex de Zobo opens up early on, pops over the ditch by three lengths clear. From John Bond, Edward Stone, last year's winner, over toward the far side, trying to make it three out of three here at Sandown, a previous winner of the Henry VIII Novices Chase in the past. The New Bay Negra, a three time grade two winner in his career. It's just about the back marker under John Joe O'Neill Jr. So up the hill they head, and it's Haddox de Zobo who leads the way. He goes by two and a half lengths clear at this point. Over John Bon in second place. John Bon has won 12 of his 14 career starts. He's won six out of seven steeple chasing so far. Edward Stone is towards the inside of New Bay Negra as they travel down the side of the course and on their head towards fence number three. Alex de Zobo by three lengths to John Bon, then Edward Stone and New Bay Negro. Fence three looming large. Alex de Zobo comes into it, pops over very nicely indeed. John Bon over in second place. Edward Stone just in behind him. And then New Bay Negro as they turn to go down the far side to the line of seven fences down the Sandown Park backstretch. Fence number four then for Hanex de Zobo. Leading a length over John Bon in second place. who put in a good leap there. Edward Stone and Nube Negra jumping together. Now to another plain one. Haddox de Zobo slowed up a bit going into that and John Bon inherited the lead. Haddox de Zobo coming back for more as they quickly now go to an open ditch. John Bon again slightly better from Haddox de Zobo. Now they race towards the water jump. Edward Stone a few lengths behind. Back in third place, just in advance of Nube Negra. As they come now to the water jump. Alex de Zobo and John Bond pretty much together with a couple of lengths away to Edward Stone and Nube Negra. Now to the railway fences. Alex de Zobo and Jack Tudor. And John Bond and Nico de Boinville. Alex de Zobo was in a little close there and Edward Stone landed steeply. Nicely picked up by Tom Cannon. Not too much time to recover, of course, over this next railway fence. Alex de Zobo from John Bond. Two lengths away to Edward Stone and Nube Negra. They jump over the final of the railway fences. Nube Negra is a little untidy there. So Haddox de Zobo will lead them out of the back straight. Shown by a length over John Bon in second place. It's two lengths away to last year's winner, Edward Stone in third. And then Nube Negra are on the run down towards the pond fence. Three out in the Tingle Creek. And it's Haddox de Zobo who shows out in front. John Bon in second place. Edward Stone back in third, two lengths behind John Bon. And then Nube Negra. So they've just got the three now left to take. John Bon begins to try and draw on terms now with Haddox de Zobo. And then Edward Stone in third place for Nube Negra. Three out at the pond. And Haddox de Zobo still held sway there. John Bon in second place. Edward Stone now just getting a bit of a shake of the reins. They're booting clear now from Nube Negra. They turn their heads towards home. It's Haddox de Zobo. John Bon looming up to the outside. Haddox de Zobo still just about had the lead, but John Bon is now on terms. Edward Stone trying to get organised now. Racing on down towards the 13th and last. And John Bon has now come through to lead from Haddox de Zobo and Edward Stone at the final fence. John Bon's over in front. He landed a length and a half. Edward Stone will try and rally up the run in. Haddox de Zobo back in third is John Bond ridden out by Nico de Bonville he's got a couple of lengths in hand on Edward Stone and the Betfair Tingle Creek chase goes to John Bond John Bond beats Edward Stone Haddox de Zobo back in third and Nube Negra last of four John Bond and I don't see why he should beat El Fabiolo not really studio team what do we make of that he's got the job done hasn't he uh, John Bond wasn't the slickest round of jumping that perhaps he could Put up, but he's won. He's taken the Tingle Creek, and uh, he's got the better of uh, Edward Stone again. You wouldn't have thought there'd be much um, change, no, um, for the uh, two-mile champion chase. No, eleven to four, nine to four. Uni bet have cut it to nine to four. I don't know what on, no. but um, yeah, three to one on short lands the race in the style of three to one on short should exactly.
Edward Stone didn't help himself the railway fences, the first of them. No, but he knuckled at his fence last year as well. Um, pretty similar sort of mistake, and he came straight back on the bridle last year as he did again this year. But I was impressed enough with John Bond because he misses three of the last four fences. He was good at the second last. He missed the pond fence, he missed the last railway, and he jams on at the last fence as well and loses plenty of momentum. He was very good at the first three fences in the back straight where he jumped up by Haddock's dissolve, but good at the first railway. But from there home, he was a bit, little bit ponderous. And whatever way you, you dress it up, he's gone and won when this yard isn't flying. All right. Would that give you any negative feelings about Cheltenham? No, no. it'll give me yeah. positive feelings. I think good horses win even when things don't go right. the right way for okay. them. I will be taking all positives out of that. Yeah, I've got some uh, race IQ data that's coming about the jumping, Ruby. John Bond gained 3.12 lengths, Edwardston gained 2.46. So he's jumped. But marginally better than Edwardstown, where it was the other way round when they met in the Schler at Cheltenham. It was, yeah. Um, but I think John Bond got most of that ground early. He definitely gave it away late in the race. Um, mm. But I.